Hi, my name is Sadie, and I have something called severely deficient autobiographical memory. So my memories are nothing like Riley's or most people's. However, maybe they're like yours. Most people have a mix of semantic and episodic memories. And what I'm missing are the episodic memories. The semantic memories are the stories that you can tell yourself in words about your life. But episodic memories are different. They are the ones that you can actually mentally time travel back to. You can close your eyes and remember very big, important moments from your life in sensory detail if you can visualize them, if a smell transports you back to something that happened in your past or a, a, a song. If you can sort of re-experience a memory, that is called an episodic memory. I know a lot of you right now are saying, what are you talking about? No one can do this. People can really do it. Here's a YouTube creator explaining what that's like. There are moments in life that tasting or smelling something brings back a memory that just sweeps you away. You know that out-of-body weird moments when a memory from childhood just crashes over you? I have no idea what she's talking about, but apparently that's what having episodic memory is like. I only have semantic memories, so I know a lot about myself, but it's almost as if I had just read a biography. The reason why scientists know that these are two different types of memory that are stored in different places in your brain is because a man named Kent Cochran got in a terrible motorcycle accident that obliterated all of his episodic memories, but left his semantic memories intact. Here's a clip. What make was your car? Honda. And what color? Brown. Did you ever have to, uh, have, ever have any problems with the car? Ever get a flat tire, for instance? Mm, I think I had a crash with it, but I don't remember. And a crash with a Honda. Yeah. Mm. You would think that you could remember something as emotional as a car crash, but he doesn't remember any of it. He just remembers that he was in a car crash. And that's a lot like my memory too. But I was not in a crash and I didn't damage my brain. I've just always been like this. I'm relatively rare, but not unique. There's a lot of people in the world who are walking around and don't realize that they have SDAM too, because they don't understand how other people remember things. So, if you cannot do this sort of mental time travel, welcome to the club. You have SDAM, and it's not just a deficit. You get some special gifts, too.